Imagine St. Paul's 20 years from now. What would you like people to say about how God's generosity is alive and a faith journey? On February 26, 1927, at the dedication ceremony of the newly completed construction of our church, Bishop Ed Edward Land Parsons gave an eloquent sermon envisioning that Motors casting on the highway by the thousands, looking at the building and its beauty, cannot fail to get the meaning of the depth and hold that Christianity has upon those who have found it. The tower of this church is like a lighthouse from which Christ shines out into the world. It is my deepest hope and faith that God's generosity in the next 20 years reflects the legacy of St. Paul's Church as it continues its faith journey with the love and care I have witnessed these past six decades that shines within our church and outward whenever and whatever we are called to spread the good news of this vibrant and beautiful church community. As a young child, I would sit in the pews with a sense of awe about the beauty of the stained glass windows and the stories they told. What do their stories tell us? How are they made? Who made them? How is this symbol of beauty and light possible during a time of many challenges and diminished financial resources? For me, the beauty and light of our stained glass windows is just one example of the many traditions, blessings, and possibilities at St. Paul's every time I see God's light shine through them. It is my hope for those who believe and those who are seeking, find what has been true for me, a sacred, safe, and holy place to come, be together, to feel and share the presence of God's love, and as our mission states, make a difference for others. Both within, both within our faith community and outward. Over the years, I have witnessed our church's challenges and discernment in ways we might become a more welcoming and inclusive community of all faiths, races, genders, women clergy, how we care for our sages, ways we might better include families of small children and our youth, how we manage staying connected during the pandemic lockdown and how our, and our resilience in times of loss. Every time we have come together to meet the needs before us with love and an open and generous spirit of our time, talents, and treasure, I have seen us deepen our faith and nurture our growth. It is my hope in 20 years we will have listened carefully to the challenges before us and respond to our mission's call. Gracious and loving God, help us this day to understand, <coughs> celebrate, or dream for the world, to be transformed in Jesus' love, to use our gifts to make a difference for others. In this time of stewardship, I invite you to pause and think carefully. What do these words mean to each of you to use your gifts to make a difference for others. What action do you take in this time of stewardship with thanksgiving for the traditions, blessings, and possibilities you hold here at St. Paul's Church? In this year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, I would like people to say, God's generosity is alive at St. Paul's, and the generous spirit of Christ shines through these windows like a beacon of light, welcoming everyone to come and see all that is possible with God's love. <laughs>